Hi and welcome to Bud's Home Automation and Repair. Recently I've gotten a few inquiries from viewers asking me how I set up my mobile phone as a presence sensor in the new SmartThings app. In today's video I'll provide you the step-by-step -step instructions for adding virtual presence sensors to your device list in the SmartThings app. This will allow you to view the status of each member's mobile device and more importantly It'll give you the ability to use each device to trigger automation specific to each individual member. Let's get started. You might be asking yourself, didn't I set up my phone when I installed the SmartThings app? This is likely true that you added each member's smartphone and gave the SmartThings app permission to get the location of each member's mobile device. So why is it necessary to take additional steps? Well, I'm glad you asked. The built-in mobile presence feature in the new SmartThings app does provide limited ability to use the location of your family member's devices. The app does this by using the same location services used by your smart device. However, your connected mobile devices and the status of those devices will not display in the SmartThings device list. Therefore, you are limited to using the status of your devices within the Home Monitor Security settings. When you set up security in the home monitor, you are instructing the SmartThings app to use the location of your devices to trigger mode changes. You may also use the home monitor to trigger lights and alarms based on the status of door and motion sensors during the time when your mobile devices are away from home. However, you are not able to use the mobile phones as present sensing devices within scenes or within automations. Unless, of course, you take a few simple steps to add your devices to the SmartThings device list using the SmartThings IDE. If you are new to Samsung SmartThings, the SmartThings IDE is simply a website which you can access using your established SmartThings login and password. I'll leave a link to the site below in the video description. The SmartThings IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, provides SmartThings users with some tools which can be helpful in managing their SmartThings account. Among other things, the IDE provides the ability to build, manage, and publish custom smart apps and device handlers. I'll show you how to use the IDE to add a nifty little device handler that will give you the ability to set up each family member's phone as a virtual device. Once your mobile devices are added to the device list, then you'll be able to view the status of each member's device within the SmartThings app. With a simple automation, you'll also be able to switch the presence setting of each device when each individual member departs or arrives from your home's geolocation. Best of all, you'll also gain the ability to use each mobile device within scenes and automations. Before adding your devices to the IDE, you must first ensure that you've invited each member to join the SmartThings app and also that you've granted SmartThings the needed permissions. SmartThings must be given permission to get the location from each member's mobile device. To do this, you must sign into the SmartThings app, select the menu icon located in the upper left-hand corner of the app. I call this the hamburger icon. Next, you need to tap on the gear icon. Now you want to toggle the switch that reads, get your location from this phone to the on position. Then it's simply a matter of tapping allow so that your SmartThings app has the permission to access your phone's location information. It's important that you apply these settings to each family member device that you intend to use as a present sensor. Each intended device must have cell service, of course. Otherwise, you'll not be able to use the device to detect mobile presence. Next, you want to verify that your geolocation is properly set. The accuracy of your geolocation is important so you can trigger automations when you leave or arrive home. From the home screen, you'll need to tap on the three dots in the upper right hand corner. Then tap Manage Location. Next, tap on the word Geolocation. You may also need to tap and drag the map to center your home's location in the middle of the geofence circle. Finally, be aware that you can also adjust the size of your geolocation's radius to suit your preferences. Once everything is set, simply tap Done. Okay, now that we've given SmartThings the proper permissions and set our geolocation, we can now add each member's phone to the IDE as a SmartThings virtual device. To do this, we're going to use a virtual switch that was developed by Austin Pritchett. 
Austin is a contributor on the Smart Things community site. He noted on the site that he is an undergrad college student who has a passion for home automation. He is working part-time as he attends college, so if you find this virtual switch he created as helpful, please consider a donation. In the description below, you'll find donation links to Austin's PayPal and Bitcoin address. I'm certain that Austin will be grateful for any donation, regardless of the amount. Directly below the donation links, I've also provided a link to Austin's Smart Things community article. The article contains the GitHub integration instructions as well as instructions for manually installing the raw code. I will now provide the visual instructions for the manual installation method. We will be copying the raw code and then paste that code into the SmartThings IDE. This will install Austin's virtual presence switch as a new device handler. Allow me to demonstrate how to create the device handler and then I'll show you how to use this switch to create virtual mobile devices for each member's mobile phone. To find the raw GitHub code, you can do it one of two ways. You can go into the link that I provided to Austin Pritchett's article on the SmartThings community, and you can click on this link here. I've also provided a link below this video that goes directly to the raw code. So we'll go ahead and go into the GitHub account. You can click on raw, and then I just do a control A to select all the text and then I right click and hit copy. Once you've copied that then you can go over to the Smart Things Groovy IDE. Again this address link is provided in the description underneath my video. You want to log in to your Samsung account using the sign in with Samsung's account. Once you're in there, you want to go to My Device Handlers. In My Device Handlers, you want to create a new device handler by clicking on this blue plus sign up here. You'll select From Code and then select in this area here, right click and hit Paste. And then you'll hit Create, Save and then you'll hit publish and for me. I'm not going to click on that because I don't want to publish this uh, because I already have this uh, particular device handler published. So I'm going to go back into my device handlers and this unpublished device handler here, I'm just going to delete that since I have the one right above it already published. So let me click on that and hit delete, hit OK. Now you'll see that I just have my published Virtual Presence Plus. Next, what you want to do is click on My Devices up here. When you click on My Devices, it'll bring you to the list of all your devices. And again, I've already published three Virtual Presence Plus sensors, one for each phone for my family. If we go in and look at those, uh, well, first of all, I want to take you down here. You'll notice I also have iPhone Bud, Irina, and Mandy for my wife and daughter. These are mobile presents. This is what happens or what is displayed in your uh, device list when you add your particular devices. Those are the devices that are used for the home monitor, but we're adding these additional devices so that they can be used as present sensors in the device list. So to add these, I'll show you here, I'm going to hit edit on this device. Uh, you want to add them as a virtual presence plus type. And to find that, you're going to go into a very extensive list. That particular device is going to be clear at the bottom of the list, second from the bottom probably. Uh, it says Virtual Presence Plus. So that's what you want to select, the type. Whatever you name the rest of this uh, is optional. I've named mine iPhone Bud, iPhone Irina for my wife, and iPhone Mandy for my daughter. You do not need a Zigbee ID. You need to put something in here. You can put anything you want. I called it Virtual 9. The version is going to be published. This information is optional you don't need to necessarily 
populate this, but I selected Bud's Home Hub, and the group can be assigned within your app. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Update. You just repeat that process for each device that you want to use as a present sensor. Let's go back to the device list. So again, I have three devices that I'm using for mobile presence, and you see those three devices listed here. All right, once you have your mobile phone set up as devices within the IDE, then you can go back to your app. Okay, now that you've added and set up your virtual phone devices in the IDE, you can now log into your SmartThings mobile app and you will see them displayed in your device list. I listed mine in a group titled iPhone Presence. I moved them to the top of the list so that I can view and verify the status of each device. Now it's just a matter of creating a couple of simple automations for each member's device so that each virtual presence switch is turned on or off when the device returns or departs from your home's geofence location. When I created my automations, I just named each automation using the member's name and then used the word home or away. So for instance, I just named my virtual device as Bud Home and Bud Away. So if my mobile device is at Bud's home, then I set the iPhone Bud virtual switch to on. If my mobile device is away from Bud's home, then I set the iPhone Bud virtual switch to off. Let me show you how to set up each of these automations. Okay, here we are back in the app, and I have a group right underneath home monitoring, which shows iPhone presence. And as you can see, my particular phone is showing that it's on or presence being detected, and my wife and my daughter's phone are off, meaning that they are away. So once you have these in, you still need to take an additional step and set up an automation. So I'm going to go in here and show you that automation. Let's click on automations. And if you see down here, I have the Bud Away and Bud Home automations. So if we go into Bud Away, you can see that it says when I'm away from Bud's home, then the iPhone Bud phone presence is turned off. Let's go into the next one, the next automation, which is Bud Home. So when iPhone Bud is at Bud's home, then the iPhone Bud iPhone presence is on. So that's basically all you're doing in that automation. So let me show you how to do that. We'll add an automation. So if condition, we want to check a member's location. So click on member's location, who, iPhone Bud, where, Bud's home, when, this member is at Bud's home. So we're going to select that and hit save. Okay, so when iPhone Bud is at Bud's home, what we're going to do now is control a device. And the device that we're going to select is that one that we just set up, iPhone Bud. We're going to hit save then you're going to click on that device again and make sure that it's on so when iphone bud is at bud's home we want to turn the iphone presence on we'll hit done and then you would normally name this however you want to name it i'm going to leave it as is i'm going to cancel out of here because i don't want to save that additional automation so i'm going to hit cancel and hit OK. Now I'm going to do the other I, iPhone away automation. So let's hit plus, add a condition. Again, member location, iPhone Bud, where, Bud's home. Instead of being at home, we want to make sure that we select this member isn't at Bud's home. Go back, hit save, then add a condition. So again, we want to control a device, and the device we want to control is that new switch that we created for iPhone Bud. Hit Save. What we want to do this time is make sure that we turn Presence off and hit Save. So when iPhone Bud is away from the home, we want to make sure that we change the device status to Away, and we do that by turning it off. I'm going to hit cancel on this one. 
because again I don't want to create another device so that's how you create the away status and the home status for each one of your uh, devices so you'll repeat that on every device uh, so that when you go back to the iPhone presence uh, it'll trigger the device either on or off depending on the iPhone's presence hopefully that's clear for you all right now that you have on off device switches you can use the status of each device to trigger various automations based on the arrival or departure of each device I invite you to tune in to my next video when I'll show you how to set up specific automations using these virtual presence sensors. To be notified when that video is released, simply tap on that subscribe icon in the lower right hand corner of your screen and set your notification preferences to receive an automated reminder when my videos are published. Hey, I really enjoyed showing you this automation. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could take a moment to give the content a thumbs up. This small gesture will greatly help my channel. Also, a quick shout out to Austin Pritchett for this great Virtual Presence Plus switch. Please consider a one-off donation to Austin as a token of appreciation for his brilliant work. If you are new to Smart Home Automation, there'll be a link to my Smart Home Introduction video in the exit screen. The video is titled, How to Create a Smart Home 101. Take a moment to check it out You'll learn about the three easy and essential steps needed to begin creating a successful and awesome smart home. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next home automation video and God bless.